All right. Alec, how's it going? Well, I can't find my notes. I have no idea where they went. And I just spent the last, like, 20 minutes looking for them, and I don't know where they are. Because uh, somebody else came in the room and moved it around and didn't know where they put that put it. So He doesn't know how to function that, without I, notes in his hands. This is going to well, be I got an, the I true got, challenge of any man is when I got, he's lost I, without his notes. I got another notebook, so we'll be okay for this episode. But you have nothing to reference. <laughs> nope, I don't, unfortunately. A moment of weakness. So, previously... On Survivor, we had the merge, um, and Roger was voted out, the big highlight of the episode. Everything was leading up to it, and yep. almost everyone knew about it, except for Roger, Butch, and Dave. They were all yeah, they, they all... were all in the mentality of just voting out the women systematically. They get duped um, and ba- bamboozled. We saw that... Uh, Locked, the locked box was finally opened, and they just had the merge letter in it, which was incredibly epic. Uh, <laughs> the problem with Roger is he's an ass. That was a yep. great line from the episode. Epic, epic line right there. And then, of course, an iconic survivor moment. Jenna and Heidi stripped down for some Oreos and peanut butter. Oh, yeah. They earned the their reward. <laughs> I saw how that you named our episode that, by yeah. the way, which I appreciated because that was that's like the last uh, way I would describe that. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did. Uh, yeah, but it just didn't seem like it was necessary. Well, because it one hundred percent was not necessary. He, he was probably just gonna say jump down for this chocolate and peanut butter. Anybody? Yeah. And Dina won that challenge with an epic rock paper scissors against Christy. It was yeah. a great time. But yeah. uh, it was a we made it to me managed to make an entertaining episode out of a predictable vote. Uh, it was predictable to almost everyone but Roger. So yeah, yeah. Who that, did who yeah, did not was... get outwitted or outplayed? He did get outlasted though. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Let's get this right. Yeah, even even in defeat, he couldn't admit that he was wrong. Mm-hmm. I wish he would just send a couple more racist things before he left. Yeah, his on, on his way out. Um, that's still my favorite thing. I think. <laughs> is there <laughs> is there any other minority left that he could have made fun of, or did they vote all the minorities out? <laughs> I did. think I think pretty much all of them are gone now. They voted all the minorities out. That's rough. Wow, racist. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's get into this episode. It's going to be every person. Uh, left in the season is going to be on the jury at the very least if not yes. final two if not the winner so uh, we're in for a treat so if Same. you want to see our reactions to this episode click the link in the description and you'll have a little bit of highlights going on there I have a lot of experience with Survivor Alec we're working through chronologically from the first season you can go back watch our reviews of the first four seasons as well as reactions to season five and season six so far. Okay. Okay, that was episode eight. The f- and then we have the first member of the jury, Dave. Dave is going to be a jury. It doesn't take rocket there. science to know that on this episode, um, we started with Dave and Butch being on the outs after that last vote against Roger. And so they were building something. I don't think we ever saw the actual no, we did. <laughs> end result, did we? No, we did. Yeah, remember when the girls were wa- walking out when they were bathing or whatever? Oh. They just went out to the dock. That was yeah. that was the dock. I was, there was different things going on in that scene. I was distracted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the camera was not focused on the dock. No, it was not. Not at all. Uh, Shameless. Shameless. But it's like... Yeah, I mean... It seemed pretty obvious it was going to be one of the people who was on the outs. And then, I mean, from the beginning, it, was, it seemed yeah. like he was the clear target. Because, you know, yeah. he's, he's so awesome, right? It's like, yeah, Dave is the man in his mind. And he's climbing trees, chopping branches, you know. Doing everything demand would do. Booyah. Booyah. Yeah. This classic catchphrase that we all love yeah. from Dave. Oh, yeah. Classic Dave. 
then we also have Matthew Sierra Killer in the Making. Uh, who this this episode was the editing and this was very mean <laughs> to him. <laughs> it was a big hor- a big theme of the episode. They had the horror music, horror sing sound effects. I like him out. just doing like awkward, creepy things too. You're just in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the veins popping everywhere in his body. Yep. Always with the machete. Shing. And they did a lot of the horror sound effects, though. It was like one after the other. Yeah. They're on it. They're doing they're doing some uh, unique things with this one. I mean, they did a little bit in in Thailand when they had the close ups on like their faces and they're like looking crazy a little bit. Oh yeah, that was <laughs> that was one of my favorite edits ever. Like it was just like. That and then like the the I think it was um clay looking at someone like adjusting their uh yeah their their like uh, shorts or their bikini strap or something and like, it was just like him just like but I feel like this <laughs> season has gone all out with like trying new things with the editing you know like oh yeah even back in the earlier days where they would have each of the guys were talking about the women and they had the little wind bubble with like a uh, video of the the women next to mm-hmm. them. Like different things they don't really hadn't really done before, mm. so they're trying new stuff. It's cool. Uh, then we had another big thing was the Dave and Heidi sn- snuggling in the night. Yeah, and Rob is jelly. Yeah, Very I mean, jelly. there's a lot of these things where it's like you think they might be long uh, storylines to or a story thread through the season, but it's just like oh, yeah. that person's voted out, so that's done. Yep. Well, I mean, he's kind of expressed that expressed that a little bit. Even or even earlier, he just Not expressed like, his just like for his disdain. His disdain for Dave, yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. Not necessarily that he's jealous about that. That that only really came to a head this episode. Mm-hmm. Or it was like mean, him wake him waking up and watching them. It was like <laughs> it's like a general jealousy, yeah, on a human level, but also because she's supposed to be in their alliance. So it's like, ah, uh, don't like that. Yeah, exactly. But then you had the reward challenge, which was the bungee. Flags and mud water challenge. That was actually a really exciting challenge. I, I really enjoyed that a lot. Because um, like you could really, you could really get a sense of like how difficult it was so towards tough, the end. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, who won? Who won that one? <laughs> Dave won. Dave won that. And then he picked Dina to go with him. It was between Alex and Dina to pick a, one or two. Yeah, I don't know why those two people specifically, but I don't know. <laughs> because it just doesn't make sense to pick out two people to put above everybody else to be like, uh, eh, I'd prefer to take these two over anybody else. <laughs> yeah, Alex, yeah. Alex, my friend, or uh, or Dina, the strategy person of the other team, mm-hmm. basically, or the other side. I value them more than you other people. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there's that, Sh- and then they Sh- had. Should've Should've gone with, yeah. Should've taken Dana, man. You know. Um, then they had the Rob a little bit of the Rob and Matt thing again. Like they've been that's the story thread that's kinda of been going on, actually. It has. Him him is basically stringing him along. <laughs> yeah, Matt's just talking about oh, Rob's such a great guy. Uh, yeah, so Rob's, like, for a relationship. Rob's like Rob's like, I need I need to get out of this as soon <laughs> as possible because it's gonna backfire like crazy. If I don't I'll end up dead, yes, killed by a mach- machete. Yeah. Uh, then they had the immunity challenge, which is something that, that's come up a lot in our survivor discussions in the past because it seems to happen most seasons. Mm. Now, now it's happened in every season. Is it yeah. in every season? I think it's maybe the first season didn't have it, but I'm pretty sure almost every season's had it. I don't think the first season did, at least, but I don't yeah, know any other ones. But, I mean, it was the most iconic in more cases, which got the uh, the underdogs to come together and yeah. it overthrow the entire season. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so, so, so it now, does have some merit. Yeah, but... the producers feel very justified in, in putting it in there, it seems, you know. Yeah. But it's like, but now you can tell that they're like, Jeff was like, oh, Dina's threat level coming in here. And Jenna's like, no, not threat, it just she had it before, so I don't want her... To have immunity. Let's not get carried away here. You know, it's not a big... <laughs> no strategic play going on here. It's just nice little chopping. 
Yeah, you it's know, like people it, people try to sugarcoat it a lot. Like they had the little. The only noticeable ones are Matt and Dave are kind of reflective of where they stand. Yeah. Because they were the two that were in question to be voted out. But I mean, generally they're they've gotten better with just like not being so obvious about it, like a pecking order now. Because I mean, they've seen what happened in that season. Yeah. And whoever's it watching. Changed. Changed the course of the whole season, really. So, so people are a lot more careful, and then ultimately, yeah. Dave is voted out. Yep. Just for being a rocket scientist and so handsome. He's the he's the big bad threat, pretty much. I mean, he's a strong guy who's going to keep winning challenges. So, but now, now who's the? Now Alex is left as the threat, I guess. Right, that kind of figure, which is like he's. Like, yeah, so they're teasing a power vacuum now because it, it seemed to be Dina and Dave were kind of the big two heads, but now it seems like Alex is stepping in, but also uh, Rob. Rob pulling the strings has behind been, the has scenes. Been, has been been pulling strings, so. But uh, it's just an interesting decision for Alex to, to vote out Dave, considering that leaves him as the next physical threat, right? Yeah, pretty much. Him and him and Matt. You kind of so. would, you would want to have a threat in front of you, I would think. Yeah. Because he's like, I mean, you got a couple things going against you. There's the whole Roger thing, and the whole fact that you're just you're a threat, man. Yeah. And it's like okay, well, you voted him out, and then who's the next threat? <laughs> think about that, Alex. Not rocket science. <laughs> it is for him, though. <laughs> All right, anything else? Uh, Matt was cutting his shoes to make sandals, and there was oh, yes, a, right. there, there was a lot of time, and it was very weird. We didn't spent see the on resolution that. of it. We haven't no. seen the sandals. Maybe I wonder if we'll see it in another episode, or if that's just <laughs> it wasn't successful enough, and it wasn't worth showing. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. But they're like, oh, this looks like a crazy visual. He's cutting a shoe. <laughs> He's really off his rocker. It was very weird. So we got to put that in there. Yeah. All right. Good well, stuff. I I'm a sleepy sleepy little boy, so I think we're about wrapped up here. So thanks for watching. Join us next time on another Survivor reaction. We'll be doing the next episode shortly. So yes. All right. All right. <laughs>